me pongo? ¿Para qué me invita? ¿Para qué me invita? What's up, you scumbags? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Scum and Kick It, the podcast your mom warned you about. XG's asleep still. I'm just kidding. This was right here. Buenos dias, homie. What's up, dog? You heard that? That was amped up this oh, morning, I'm dog. Early man. bird, dog. Early bird gets the worm over here, homie. Cock a doo doo or coca doo doo. Los dos, dog. I never even <laughs> fell asleep, dog. You're right. I didn't even fall asleep, dog. I'm still lit from last <laughs> night. <laughs> But speaking of being lit from last night, let's hop over and open our coffee. Cheers, homie. Cheers. Early in the morning drinking. Tempranito. All right, take a sip of your beer, guys. And you know what to do now. It's a little bit early. The kids might still be asleep, but you know what? You still got to tell that bitch to get the fuck out of here. You yeah. shouldn't. No? She should be taking the kids to school, she dog. Should. True, she should. Already. This is 7 in the morning, dog. She had maybe, worst case scenario, making your lonche. <laughs> Making your desayunos over easy eggs. She, dog. Oh, so she's probably packing the lunch right now, thinking like, hearing, hearing the our voice, like, oh hell no, nah. he's starting off his morning with come and kick it. <laughs> like, oh, it's gonna be a long day. This we're gonna be off pedal by like nine nine a.m. Are you a coffee dude? Hell yeah, I drink coffee every day. You don't wake up early though. No, I don't wake up early. I go to sleep normally like at seven to eight a.m. every day. Like, That's crazy. Though. Those no. are crackhead hours. I, I can't go to sleep. Do you bro? live on Skid Road? Hey, chill out, bro. <laughs> Speaking of skid, bro, this is the shirt that I got stabbed by a homeless fool. Oh, right me? there, dog. Look at that. You Scumbags can... is right there in the ambulance. You took that picture like in the moment in time when we were like, yo, I, I, this is merch. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I gotta, I, no one's going to believe this shit. So I took the picture and I was like, it took me like a month to be like, oh, I should make that into a shirt. And then it is a shirt. So you can find it on scumbagscode.com. I'm going to take it off the website like in a month. So get it now before it's gone. I got a question. What? Did that get you any pity pussy? Like, did any girl hit you? I'm like, oh, my God, scumbags, you got stabbed on the bus. Yeah, I've been hitting me suck me your up. dick right now. Well, yeah, the, I was at the hospital getting my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> the nurses. No, and they bring all the bitches back like, hey, you got stabbed. I heard you got stabbed. I heard you got stabbed. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Bitches come. always need an excuse like that to come at you. C- come and help oh, me. Oh, you got stabbed? Oh, you got qu- you got cancer? Uh, that, oh, I, your dad damn. died? Oh, they just want any excuse to fucking come back to Man, this dick, dog. Make you feel better, apparently. So probably then. <laughs> come on, help me out. Be my nurse, girl. Bro, one time I posted I got a paper cut and, like, three of Max's hit me up. Yeah? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Well, they, they were like, he finally got his papers? Like, that kind of paper cut? Like, damn, he got a paper. <laughs> but, nah, good morning to you guys, but let's go to a commercial break and then we'll be back, y'all. I was trying to change my ways not to hurt you My brother just caught another case after a full two I told him don't trip, I hold it down like I'm supposed to We're here for playing soccer, they hit me like skipping class You ever had a big let us come cancel your plans We move four times in one year, you do the man I've been through hell and back, I don't complain, I've been the man They know I ain't the same, that my shit I ain't the same I stay quiet, fuck the fame, people trying to ruin my name I go through shit, you can't relate, fuck the rats and all the snakes Don't even tell me shit if you ain't never lived this way What's up, my boy? I know it's early in the morning. Don't judge me. Damn, you're fully toxic this morning, actually. Tell me y'all fully stocked. Yeah, actually, the homies restocking as we speak. You know Craft Beer Kings stay stocked up. ¿Dónde es Chi? ¿Andamos al 100? Al millón, loco. Talking about fully toxic, she drove me here. What? La tóxica's outside? You know I can't stand her without the tecate and the good head she gives me. Can I see your ID? Are you over 21 XG? Why you gotta ask me that stupid question all the time? Come on, fool. You know it's the law. You illegal. All right, I'll see you later. Take a shower. Brown power. If you guys are wondering why we started this podcast so early today at 7 a.m., it's because tonight we will be doing a live stream for the fight. Adam Blue Nose Lopez is fighting tonight on... Pro Box TV, which is on YouTube for free, guys. It's free, so hopefully you guys jump on the live with me. We're going to get drunk. We're going to watch the fight. 
It's going to start like at 6 p.m. Cali time. What's that? Pacific time? Pacific da- time, Pacific dog. to be specific. Okay, little Rob. Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, little Rob hey, over here. Hey, that song slaps, dog. I know. I'm not even nah, mad. I, you can't hang on. What is it? It's su- summertime <laughs> love? Yeah. I just feel I, when I hear that song, I feel like I want to be in a convertible. Yeah, drinking a Corona. Never, never lived, <laughs> never done it. But that's how I picture it, dog. Yeah. In a cruise, on the not, Pacific to be on the P, Yep, on the PH. On the what, what, what's that highway? Well, we have Pacific that, highway where I grew up but in Maywood. We have a street called La Pacific, and that's where everybody will cruise it at. Call, and we'll be like, hey, let's go to La Pacific well, and cruise I, it. I hate that cruising lifestyle. It was fun back then. I hate that cholo shit. Go ahead. But anyways. uh... <laughs> If you're watching Cruising. right now, tune in later on today. Go on uh, the Scum and Kick It. It'll be live tonight. We'll be watching the fight, taking shots, drinking. He's fighting. We got a couple other people that are fighting. It's, it's going to be a good card. For free on YouTube, Pro Box TV, Adam Blue Nose Lopez is fighting in Florida. It's going to be a, a fun one, dog. So I don't know if you're going to be here. You're going to probably be in EDC still. No, dog. EDC will be over by then. All right, so I'll be still hungover though, probably yeah, recovering. You'll probably, you'll it takes a couple days to recover from that dog. You'll it's probably like, still be doing a light show. Like. <laughs> we had to in with us, bro. You make bitches fall in love. <sighs> I've never put on those stupid ass gloves, dog. That's just dumb as fuck. Anyways, you put on a glove all the time. What do you think a condom is? It's a glove. It's a glove for your little finger. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a glow in the dark one, dog. You got a light show with your dick, dog. You know, right. Speaking of light, speaking of light shows, <laughs> let, let's put the green light and get out of this subject of EDC. I'm over this shit, dog. <laughs> go catch my vlog at XG Marks of Spy. You can go hear more EDC shit over there. You can go hear all the. Doo, 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 doo. You can go watch titties, people doing bumps. It's gonna be fun. Hey, so then you're gonna provide the next moment time for the booty. You better record some booty over there then. I can record some booty out there for you. Nah, it's gonna be cool. dirty, nasty, grimy <laughs> booty, bro. Uh, it's been walking it. for days. It's it'll still. Be a, it'll be a scratch and sniff moment of silence for the scratch home. Scratch and sniff. Yeah, I gotta scratch the screen. That's Do you wish that was a thing? Like, you really wish like on Offer Up there was a a scratch and sniff feature where you can scratch <laughs> and sniff her. Stupid! Like, I wanna buy this used shirt from Offer Up. Let me scratch it. Sniff. And make, and yeah. Then but like Loro. Well, for everything, like if you're a foodie, you wanna scratch and sniff. You know. The feature, well, like, if for a it's foodie, there, yeah, bro, I'm, for thinking, a, I'm thinking about jo- buying Jordans on Offer Up and they stink. Like, oh, dog, that shit smells. Oh, I, I, before you order them, I would want to do a scratch and sniff on those Jordans. See if they're brand new. <laughs> yeah, see true. if they're brand new. Sc- scratch and sniff, yeah. dude. But they should make it on the food. That should be dope if they made it on the food. The food? On, 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 on Offer Up? On OnlyFans? That, scratch and sniff before you You think it'll ever be possible? I don't think it'll ever going to be happy. Ever happened, huh? Technology? Bro, it's, it's, yes, yes. Nah. It'll spray this. It'll spray it to you, dude. Only one time that they had that on TV back in the day. Remember Revenge of the Nerds? No. You don't remember Revenge of the Nerds? There was this fucking movie of some nerds that were fighting against some jocks. And at Seven Eleven, you you had to go buy the shit there. So this was Revenge of the Nerds in 3D. So you had to go buy the glasses in Seven uh, Eleven, and it came with like little cards. So it would tell you on the TV, sniff now. Like uh, there was some guy called Booger, and he farted, and the, it told you right there. Scratch the card and sniff it so it's more like a pedal. So, so it kind of was dope. Like, and put on the glasses now and it was 3D. It was crazy. Like, but that's the last time I saw technology like that. That was like the 90s. I wouldn't want now that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't imagine watching a porn and be like, you want to smell this orgy? <laughs> Shut up. Out of here. Come on. You know, but imagine Will. Will will oh, be. Will. Bro. Man. Bro, he'll, he'll put the smell in a fucking, uh, in a Ziploc bag <laughs> and smell it later, dog. <laughs> Man, we gotta get Will on here, dog. We gotta get tell, make him tell some stories. He's the real scum and kick it. He's yeah, the definition nah. of scum and kick it, dog. He's, he's nasty and kick it. Like, <laughs> man, that fool is licking crazy shit. A Sibian? I'm surprised you didn't what? know what a Sibian was. Nah, what the fuck? That guy said, I don't wonder what. <laughs> Sounds like half the chicks you date own one, dog. That's what well, I meant by I, that. I am their Sibian. <laughs> or Sibian. Sibian. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Paisa over here. Si- si- Sibian V8 right here, dog. Come on, V8. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, you, since it's early in the morning, do you think uh, these fools' girls are at work and they're at home, or do you think these fools that are watching are at work listening to the show? Because she should definitely be at work. You shouldn't be dating no bum mommy. Yeah, true. She should be at work. She and should you, be at and work. And you should be a, a, a scum, chilling, a kicking scum, it, scum bummy, <laughs> bum, <laughs> scum bum bato. <laughs> <laughs> so you think she's at work and he's not? 
Oh, you think he's at work too? He should be at work too. Come on, dog. You can't take these bitches to Katana without having a job. They're married. They're not taking her to Katana for these fools. Are just like fuck that. I don't want to take this There's bitch some anywhere. There's fools out there. That no, dog. What do you? They're married and doing all that. He he already has the the the, the ring on the finger. He Bro, don't need a, he don't need Katana. You go to Katana because you love sushi too. It's not <laughs> just for her, dog. I throw some shit on a bit. I live. Oh, here I brought you to the fucking Katana. No, it's because I love sush- sashimi. You ever had some sashimi? You don't even know how to say that shit. How, how do you even order out the menu? Can I have some sashimi? And the food's are like, who the fuck is this spicer? You're like, right. Usually I just like, oh, what do you recommend? You look at the chef like, hey, wait, sashimi, wait. And like, oh, I got you, compa. No, but they should definitely be at work or taking the kids to motherfucking work, dog. I mean, to school. So I'm going to take the kids to school. I could, see, I could, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't mind taking the kids to school in the morning. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. I'll, I'll be easy. the one. Easy. Well, I could do that shit. I'll let her work and I'll just stay home, though. No? Oh, bro, I can, what I the do fuck? It easy. And what? I know for I know me like one day, if I have kids, like let's say like week like a week like today, it's Netflix is a joke. I go to the comedy store. I'm there hanging out with George Perez and shit and my bae mama. You don't forget you got to take the kids to school tomorrow. It's Monday, and I'm all hungover and shit. I show up still coked out to the house. You know how these little homies are getting to school. Well, we're Ubering to school, dog. You're going to Uber them? Mm-hmm. You can't Uber the kids. I'm going to be in the car, too, though. Like, I'm not going to, like, just what? let. I'm going to be getting in the car. I'm going to tell hey, don't tell mom. We all get donuts. Because they're going to be like, why are we Ubering, dad? I'm all crudo, hungover. I don't want to do I over, Yeah, I could literally get a DUI. That's <laughs> how hungover I am, dog. So you're going to Uber the kids. We're all Ubering to school, dog. Ubering that shit, dog. Nah, the, the, your the lady, your girl's gonna be like, why is there an Uber bill right here? Like, why is there an Uber payment in the morning? Like, oh, that's one thing. Your your you, your girl should never have are you any going to, access. Are you to going your to another bitch's house that early? <laughs> like, what the fuck? But now you can't send the kid. That's kind of you can send the bitch, but you can't send the kid. Like, I want to send the kid in the Uber. That's kind of sketch. Like, why? What do you? Why is it sketch? You're bro? sending him with a fucking stranger, a kid. You gonna send your kid on an Uber with a stranger? How old is this kid? Can we talk? Can we remember mention the yeah. age? Like, what age is what age is not okay to send a kid? Shit, not even at fifteen. You wouldn't send what? Well, fifteen maybe, but under under thirteen, Dude, I wouldn't. If I had a high schooler, I would be like, "Yo, Uber on the way, bro." That's how you're getting to school. Today. Hell no, that's how they get fucking kidnapped, bro. Damn. In the middle of the day, dude. Never. It's seven in the morning, I'm dog. I'm never gonna Who's let you babysit my kids, dog. Oh, yeah. uh, Toxg, no, no, we're not going over there. That fool is maniacs. He's gonna send you guys back home in an Uber, dog. Like, <laughs> with a stranger. Like, he's probably gonna send the kids and his bitch so he can save money. Like, yeah, I just finished boning this bitch and y- y'all, y'all kids. One of your kids get in there. Fuck it, I'm saving some money. U- right. Uber pool. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I mean, Ubers to me are like not safe, but it's not dangerous because you're a guy. But they're dangerous. If you were, if you had a vagina, it's pretty dangerous. No, it's not, bro. Do you know how many Ubers? What? You know how many Ubers happen successfully, and how many of them don't? The odds are pretty good for you. Well, you're a guy, of course. But if you're a girl, it's pretty sketchy. I'm guessing because you have a horny ass fool that's gonna drive that. He's been working all day for sure. He has, he has no bitches, and then he sees one bomb ass bitch and and getting the Uber like. Bro, what do you th- what, you don't? How do you think these half these hot bitches in LA fucking travel everywhere? Yeah, but they must be getting mad anxiety from it, no? No, they're drunk. They have a white car <laughs> in their fucking hand. These bitches don't care, dog. You don't act like you don't know these LA bitches. They don't give a fuck about shit. They'll walk what? downstairs and they don't care. Well, yeah, should be I be sending bitches home in an Uber and drunk. So now, nah, but sometimes I do feel like, damn, dog, like. What if, what if she falls? I'm a bus on ex, ex securities right now. Like, what if she falls in love with the Uber driver? What if it's just some fool driving Uber to get bitches? Okay, that's super insecure, dog. Not once, not nah, once, did it run through my head that the girl I'm dating is gonna leave me for an Uber what, what driver. If, what if you send her home in a in a black car and that's why the SUV? Nope, that's you're definitely not sending her in the black car. Dude, that home. you paid sixty bucks, so he just made sixty bucks in thirty minutes. Imagine, dog. Now you're making me think. Imagine you send your girl. In an Uber X, and you pay for it, and she cheats on you in that Uber that you paid for. Well, the Uber X is the normal one. There's Uber Share, Uber X, and Uber XL, and then Uber Black. Uber Black's the, fa- the, the, the fancy one? one. The, oh, okay. the, no, no, a black Uber car black. comes and gets you. I meant Uber Black. I can yeah. see you. I could see you sending a bitch home in like a pool and like a Uber Share. <laughs> I can literally see you be like, "Hey, bitch, Uber's yeah. outside," and this bitch is like. Damn, it's come back, come you fucking what? Uber bitch. Uh, uh, Next thing uh, you know, there's two other dudes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have two minutes. 
two minutes. You know that's too loading two minutes on the share. Like, what the fuck? Have you ever have you ever gotten an Uber share? Yeah. I don't Damn, know. I mean, you were struggling at that moment. That time. It literally I'll, saved you two bucks, dog. I only got not Idaho. once, had not once have I been like, bro, this is a deal. I should, I should get the share. Well, I, I saved three bucks. That was a pack of condoms. You, you, you don't know you, about if, that. If, if you're, if you need to save three bucks, you shouldn't be fucking. <laughs> Stupid. If you need, you if you need raw. to save you three bucks, dog, dog, you put that condom back in your pocket and go back to work and ask for OT, <laughs> dog. Get the fuck ask out of here. Back. <laughs> Ask for your job back. Yeah, man. Ask for your job back, dog. <laughs> no, I only got an Uber, the Uber shirt like twice, and I didn't like it because I was like, man, I have to go pick somebody else up. Like, man, I'm trying to get home, dog. I'm fucking drunk. I could see you trying to pick, trying to, I could see you getting an Uber shirt and be like, man, I'll, knowing me, I'm going to get lucky. There's going to be some other female in here. I had thought of that. And me and like, her are going to vibe oh, out. Backseat gonna... love? <laughs> backseat boogie on an Uber? Damn, that would be hard, though. But now, have, have you sent a bitch in a, an Uber X or, I mean, an Uber share? Home before nah, no, bro. That's 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 nah, not your black car, huh? Like all the way, dog. Lying ass fool, dog. Real, I'm not dog? saying this. Bit, this fool said nah, I, I don't a, get black, but I do. Fool, I'm not sending her in a share, dude. That now the, that now that's sketchy and scary, dog. It is sketchy and scary to send a bitch home in a Uber fucking share, right? Because man, you don't know some fool in the back is gonna try to caress her and shit like that. Like caress her with the fuck are you, dog? <laughs> the head don't fucking buy so over here. Do you want to caress? Okay, mano, se la way. Look at him, mano, se in the back seat. For those, for, yes, fool. Hey, for those who say in the comments that, si, sí, no sepo, kid. Si, sí, sepo, pendejo. Manoseando la wey. I don't even know how to say it in English. Ahasahar. Huh? You heard that word, ahasahar? <laughs> what? My dad used to tell me that. Te la hasahastes? Like, 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 what does that mean? Like when your grand hasahastes. Yeah, like, like making out. Like, you know, like, that's what you tell you. Like, te la hasahastes because you're... Manoseando, yeah, because manoseando, we say manoseando, like, but yeah, that's the paisa one. My dad used to tell me te la has has this because I, I'd, I'd get back home from the movies, we're like te la has has this, and I'm like, of course, dog, of course, dad, yeah, dad, I did. And then he goes to his room, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a, a chick has never asked you to send her home on a on a Uber Black, no, bro, she gotta be super fancy like that. Like that's nothing. Some, that's not something you ask. Because girls always post that. Like, we see on the gram like taking an Uber to the party. They put the Uber like they don't put that when they're on the X, huh? When they're on the X, the, on the XG Uber, they don't <laughs> they don't post that shit. <laughs> on the X one, it's like extra ghetto. Like, extra ghetto. But yeah, I had a chick once tell me. So I Ubered her right over. She was having dinner. She's like, Uber me over. I want to kick it with you. I was like, All right. I called her a normal Uber, right? No Uber share, none of that. Whatever. We start kicking in. We fuck. And then she's like, hey, okay, I'm going to go home. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get you Uber. She's like, get me an Uber Black. And I'm like, fuck. No, I, I saw the price. It was from a normal Uber X, which was $18. She expected me to pay $65 to send her home. That's how much more an Uber, an Uber Black is? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, let me, let me see. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm request a ride to my house in Glendale from downtown. Yeah, it was, it was the same distance. Let me see. Oh, shit, you're right. It's double. Yeah. Literally, I can go home right now for 25 bucks. But if I want the black SUV, do they even got the Lux? It's 76 bucks with the Lux, dog. You think I was going to... That's three times more for the same fucking spot. Bro, that's what she asked? You think I was going to do that? I already hit. Your luck, I don't get you a share. I already hit. What'd you you tell her? What'd you send her home in? She's like, you're calling me an Uber black. And I'm like, nah, I'm not. And then she's like, why not? I'm like... I wasn't going to be straight up that big because I already hit. What do I care about? I'm not trying to impress you no more. It's over. I would have probably got you one on the way over here and then fuck it. But you done fucked up. You gave me the pussy. Over it. Let's go. Uber X. And then uh, when we go outside to top it all off, it was a little Prius. <laughs> <laughs> like at least a Toyota Camry would have came or something. You know, like with, with leg room and nope. And she was all mad. Like. I've only been in one Uber Black. Yeah? Shout out to Ron White. Ron White? No, Ron White is. The fool from, uh... No, I don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, am I... That's what we're talking I, about. I, this. I was thinking of Will Ferrell. What was his name on that on the weather show? Uh, I don't know his... What's his Ron White. Comedian. Comedian. This guy. You've seen him. You've seen his oh, face, yeah, yeah, uh, Ron White. You've seen that face. I know you've seen okay. that face. It comes out on Kill Tony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Either. let me tell you the story, dog. 
I'm at the comedy store. He got you Uber X to, Let to me smash. Tell you no, 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 no. Oh, okay, you're was, done. now you're making the story this, way better the, than it fucking is. No wonder his comedy career blew up. Chill, chill, <laughs> chill, guys, chill. So I'm at the comedy store, dog, and it's me, George, Sidek, Eddie, DJ, Will. We're all there chilling. This was before the pandemic, when like when like the comedy store was popping, like when Joe Rogan and shit were there. Yeah. And I'm there, and you know I'm a big drinker, dog, especially when I'm with George and. I don't have to pay for the tab. Big drinker. <laughs> so this time George was there. Yeah, this time I'm there. And like I said, we're all there. We even got Coke, Cassidy's there. We're ready to do bumps. And for some reason, I don't know why, at this moment in time, Red Bank comes up to the group. And he's like, hey, uh, any of you guys sober? And I'm usually not sober. But for some reason, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Was he doing, That was his joke or what? Because he's looking at you fucking... Fucking maniaco ass food asking if any of you guys are sober? So, yeah, no, 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 no. So, so let me tell you. So, like I said, we're chilling, like a like, like a group of you know how like homies kick it. We're all talking shit in the bathroom. <laughs> you guys were in the bathroom. Not yet, dog. Like I said, not yet, Red bro. Red pops the door open. It was. The Are y'all pissing or doing coke? It was the beginning of the night, dog. Because I hadn't had no drink in me. We're hanging out. Red band comes up. Like I said, we're like little, like little. We're mobbing, kicking it. Red band comes up. He's like, "Any of you guys been drinking?" Like I said, usually the answer is yes because the fucking free drinks off of George. Jack and Coke, run it, right? For some reason, I said no, and I was like, nah, what's up? He's like, I need a, I, someone needs, someone needs a DD. I'm like, who's someone? He's like, are you sober or not? Kind of, they don't want to tell you what. Yeah. They're kind of like, are you sober or not? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sober. So he's like, come with me. So he's like, I'm like following Red Band like a little minion. I'm all excited because I'm like, fuck, I wonder what this is maybe a big deal. And then he, I show up, and he takes me to the secret bar. And then he's like, hey, uh, meet Ron White. And I meet Ron White, and Ron White comes up to me. He's like, hey, dude, can you be my DD for tonight? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, oh, it's because I need my car tomorrow morning. So me getting an Uber is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, just get an Uber. The answer is to get an Uber. No, he needed the car in the morning to go do, like, a, a shoe or whatever. I'm like, cool. And he's like, all right. So he gives me the keys to his Range Rover. And then we get in the car, and it's in, like, in the comedy store, like, pri- private parking. And I've never driven a Range Rover, dog. I'm a bison, dog. I don't know what the fuck that is, dog. Did you search the car first? Huh? Did you search the car for Coke and shit? No, nah, bro. So uh, I get not, there. Not, not the old XG? No. So I get there, dog, and I turn the car on, and I kind of, like, turn around and start going slow, and he's like, it's a lease. Go ahead. Like, I floor Not too much, but yeah. I did. I did fucking floor it a little worst, bit, dog. Worst DD driver ever. Bro, and I floor it, dog. And we go up to the hills, dog. He lives in the hills. Yeah. Deep in the hills, bro. We go up. And I'm like, oh, fucking. I'm talking to him. He's talking. He's on the pedo. So he, he's also talking, bro. And I'm just listening. We get to his pad, bro. Super nice pad. We get inside. And he tells me to come in, obviously. And he's like, hey, we hung up for like five, tw- ten minutes. He, he rolled up a, not rolled up, but he lit up a cigar. And he asked me. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. And then he has his own bottle of tequila. So he gives me a bottle of tequila. Oh, shit. And then when the Uber shows up, it was an Uber Black. Fancy ass. Oh, he sent you home in an Uber Black? Yeah. And gave me 50 bucks and gave me the bottle and sent me home in an yeah. Uber Black, dog. That's like, to me, it's Shout like that. Shout out Ron White. Shout out to Ron White, dog. It was one of those moments where I was like, you're sitting there, you're like, what the fuck's going on, dog? I'm in this. I'm in Ron White's big ass house in the hills. Full got me an Uber Black. Didn't have to. Sent me home with tequila. Gave me 50 bucks. All because I decided not to drink. Damn, sober. He wasn't like on the pod that day, the light pod. You were just sober. Sober, dog, which was weird, which I'm thankful for it, that moment in time that I wasn't because that the, Will was going to be the next one. Yeah. Oh, if, if, if fuck, if Will drove that fool <laughs> home, they're for sure going to go to, hold on, Ron. Hold they're, on, they're, Ron. they're setting a couch right here. <laughs> we're going to go pick it up. Yeah, there's room in the range. Bro, he would have smelled Ron White's <laughs> fucking chair. <laughs> he Ron White would have invited him inside. This fool would have been smelling. Like, you know the dog when they get somewhere like... Just smelling everything. Like, There's pussy's been yeah. here. Because be. I did ask him, yo, you know me asking fucking scummy ass question. I was like, yo, so like, you bone some bitches up in here, right? What did he tell like, you? He's like, yeah, but you know, typical old man shit. He's like, yeah, but it gets lonely. Speaking of being lonely, that's gonna be are you. you lonely? Gonna be, that's gonna be scumbags one day, <laughs> dog. Come here, XG. You know, talk about all the bitches he <laughs> fucked, but like, but I'm lonely. <laughs> nah, hell no. What? What? That time your dick don't work, like. Cares, fuck what it. do you mean your dick don't work? Your dick works forever, dog. There's this thing called Viagra. To pee? You can no, pee forever. No, dog. Viagra will always work, dog. Yeah, but you might have a heart attack. But you, nah, you can't be lonely. If once you're, you fuck so many bitches, you're used to being by yourself. Like me, I don't, if I'm by myself, it's cool. I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what's a main side effect of Viagra? 
long term use of Viagra, what you can lose your hearing for real. Which I don't give a fuck about hearing. I'll go if the, deaf. If the dick don't work no more, you think trying to hear some bitch's shit? <laughs> <laughs> wow, dick don't work, and I don't gotta listen to this bitch. <laughs> All good, player. I ain't the major listening. side effect, dog. They were saying that yeah. Hugh Hefner was going deaf, dog. Hugh Hefner started fucking sign languaging. That's how much Viagra he took. Bro, he died at an old age, right? Just fine. <laughs> Who cares? He fucked more bitches than me in one year. <laughs> Then, then I have in my whole life probably Amway Bomber. Like, who cared at that age? Ah, pa la verga, kick the bucket. Who gives a fuck, dog? I can't hear. Oh my god, all this Viagra. I'm fucking 90, 95 and died. Who cares? Who cares? How did he die at what age? He died old, dog. You think, uh, bro? He's been fucking since the sixties, no? Yeah, he, bro. He had a, a Playboy jet back in the day. So, he, bro, this fool. Damn, that. Who gives a fuck? Fuck it. Take the here. Wow. How many STDs do you think Hugh Hefner had, had gotten? You think he goes raw? Yeah, he's going raw. Huh? No, bro. No, no. I think he's more, he's kind of more like you, dog. No, because he dated them. They were his girlfriends. You st- he dated girls, and they were his. Remember, he had like seven girlfriends at one time. You don't think they were fucking other people? You think they just stayed loyal to him? Doubt it. Bro, you've never seen a documentary by him? No. Bro, no, 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 no. He was the man of the man, dog. I he know. did not let these hoes. If he saw you hanging out, he cut you off. Yeah? Bro, look, watch the documentary. I'm surprised you haven't gone down the Hugh Hefner rabbit hole, bro. No, this fool is, this fool is not, not let. He was, he, he could have seven girlfriends. You couldn't even text another homie. No, because when they had that show, they didn't want to end up dating a basketball player? Yeah, and they cut her off. Yeah. Yeah, bro, you think Hugh Hefner is going to let you have another boyfriend while he's paying for everything? Bro, he pays for everything. Well, yeah. They have allowances. They literally have an allowance. Well, yeah, he's a like, Literally, guy. here's like 20 grand a month, and I'm your fucking, Damn. I'm your main chile. Your only chile. That life would have been good, dog. That fool was doing good. He could fuck, and he was fucking bomb bitches until he was old. Like, Damn, man, I, I wish. One day. But, yeah, but like. I think there's an age where I wouldn't want to fuck that young because I know I'm not even... I'm not even. I'm not even getting it worked up, dog. Who cares? I fucking care. He My was, self-esteem would be very fucking low if this bitch leaves without nutting. At that point, you who used cares? to make, you used the, the to make every. You used to make every girl nut. Hugh Hefner used to make every bitch nut. At the end, bro, I'm surprised if they. Eat. You don't think he just wanted to cuddle with the bitch? At the end, like all romantic, like all, you, he had fucking he, coffee dates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, when the dick don't work, fuck it. Let's watch a movie. Not like you. You're trying to watch a movie now with the fierro all hard. Right now, shit. Fuck the movie. That let's make a movie. Dog, there's been times, he had movie there's been times where, the, where I'm hard and the movie's so good where I'm like, can you wait? No. <laughs> she, she's all grabbing the chin and you're like, no, 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 not right now, girl. Well, wait up. Game uh, of Thrones yeah, ain't yeah, over. Yeah, Game of th- the fucking yeah. Game of Thrones ain't over, baby yeah. girl. Wait the fuck up. Can you hold on? <laughs> <laughs> you always want to fuck. Imagine the tables turn and guys turn into that. Oh, like, man, wait up. Not to pause the fucking movie? Damn, like, I really want to watch this shit. <laughs> have you ever paused? Yeah, well, wait, I hope you have fucking just not even give a fuck about the movie and started fucking, right? Like, Oh, yeah, of course. Dude. I don't want to watch that shit. I just put on the movie for some sound effects in the back, no? There's been times where I pick a shitty-ass movie that I know I don't like so I don't get invested. Yeah, do you ever put any of your stand-up to watch? Like, hey, help me. No. <laughs> no, bro. No, they're not watching my stand-up. You know how rappers be playing their own music to everybody? Like, oh, let's fuck to my music. I wouldn't want to fuck to my music. Or like, hey, check out my podcast. Like, and damn, that might happen one day, though. Well, you don't. You, no, we're you, fucking, and then the podcast might go on. And like, oh, fuck, I got to hear stupid ass XG's voice. Like, <laughs> like, oh, scumbags give me horrible advice. This bitch better not listen. <laughs> Oh, shit. Damn. That is wild, though. I was going to ask you. <laughs> Which is a dumb question. What? But in a relationship? Oh, what? This <laughs> is <laughs> <Just> already stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Along with this stupid question, in a relationship... You're allowed to cheat in, like, the first three months, right? Like, that's not cheating, right? Like, if I don't say I love you, like, I can cheat, right? Like, they're, like... Cheating Cheating is it's not part of the relationship? Not after three months, bro. You're not supposed to. This is not a fucking job. Three-month probation and you get hired. Fuck that. Keep cheating, though. Or you stop after three months. 
I just slow down. <laughs> like I like I said. What is slow I, down? I, like I, like you go to the bars and not try to get numbers now, or like what happened? I don't I don't get it because me when I used to do relationships I would cheat. I didn't give a fuck how long I was in it. Like shit. all right, let's switch the tables around. Okay, let's say you're dating some chick, right? And you find out she cheated on you, but she cheated in the first three months. Is that still cheating? Yeah, she better have no no other dick around her. What the fuck? <laughs> shit. That's super cheating. She's even fucking That's thinking about it. super cheating. Yeah, it's hell? super cheating, but scumbags is normal cheating. <laughs> She's the, super cheating? I'm just cheating. Hey, real men cheat. <laughs> I'm just being a man. Real men cheat, dog. Now, a woman, mm-mm, don't be cheating because I'll get pissed. I'll get pissed. <laughs> I'll get pissed. I'll be mad. Hey, well, Emoji mad face. I'm breaking up. I'm breaking up. That's it. You what? The first three, I don't give a fuck about the first three minutes I met you, bitch. You better not have got no other number going to the bathroom. <laughs> fuck, that's over. You uh, you. So if a bitch cheated on you the first three months, you're going to allow her. Oh, it's, it's cool for Oh, no, no, you're right. Uh, there's, uh, no, there's no allowing. Nah, you look like there, the type that be there's like. There's no allowing. There's no allowing. But I will tell a bitch, like, well, I cheated on you in the first three months. It doesn't count. Like, I just. I, Why would like, you I tell was, her? I was, don't tell no, her. No, it's when they find out. It's when they find out. How uh, did she find out, though? You cheated on me, and I'm like. It was in the first three months, babe. Like, I, I, I didn't say I love you yet. I didn't know you. Like, you like I didn't know your mom her. yet. You can't admit it because once you admit it once, all oh, your oh, you're shaggy. All you. oh, your shaggy. It was never me. It wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, well, how did the song go? It wasn't me. <laughs> I know, but like, <laughs> kissing in the in the kitchen or was it? No, banging in the bathroom, banging <laughs> in the bathroom door. It wasn't me. Banging in the lonchera. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me at all. If you admit it one time, they're never gonna believe you again. Like. That's gonna be their always their their argument. Like, well, you cheated that one time. You could you always gotta say. I do no. like your logic. You wanna know why I like that logic? Why? Because if you cheated and then you admit to it, not only are you a cheater, now you're a liar. That's the worst. It's the worst. So you can't. To honestly, if, I hope no women are listening, but I I kind of do hope they're listening. If you're bond, leave a comment saying that you're sexy so I can follow you. But you can't. You gotta lie to them. You can't be honest with them. Bitches do not want you to be honest with them. They hate honesty. <laughs> they, they they hate it. They hate it. Yeah. They hate honesty. Have you ever been honest? They hate knowing the truth. Yeah. Have you ever lied to a <laughs> bitch and she loved you even more? Well, you are dating fucking mental fucking... <laughs> you're dating mental cases, dog. What did you just say? What? You have to lie to them. You tell them a lie and they'll love you more. Like, can you explain what lie you said to this bitch and she said, I love you more? Okay, like, okay, on my Instagram, you know, I post whatever, everything. Culito, nalguitas, titties, I'm smashing, whatever. The girls be like, oh, I saw you were kicking it with that bitch, huh? And it's like, yeah, I know, I posted it. And they're like, I know, I saw your your story. I'm like, yeah, I know, I posted it. Like, there was no highlight. Like, there, she wanted me to lie about it. Like, she'll be just like, man, can you just stop? And I'm like, what? Like, stop being so honest. Like, if I tell you we have other bitches, just say no. And I'm like, say Say no, they don't have no other bitches for what? That's lying to you. Like, I know, but I don't want to hear the truth anymore. And I'm like, I guess so. And I had to start lying. Because she was getting mad that I was keeping it real. So, since so that day I learned that, I just lie to him. I don't got to know other bitches. Yeah, the, the story is saying different, you know? The story. Just lie to follow them. Instagram, that she has mad bitches. And then the girls are tripping, like, bro, I seen it on your story. Like, oh no, that's just a friend. You don't believe it? Try it. Try lying to these bitches. <laughs> Look, I want you to go to EDC this weekend. Lie to a couple bitches. Tomorrow. So what? So what? You want me to text this bi- these bitches and be like, hey, we're going to Katana, and then I take them to the taco stand? Not that like, kind of life. <laughs> that. That's fucking. That's fucking. That's fucking. What's it called? I don't even know what to call that shit. But no. like, all right, all right. What, what, what am I going to lie about? Explain to me. Like, what all right. You- man, you go out to a fucking bar. You get laid. And then the ne- the next day she hits you up like I seen you on Scumbag Story, he was it was you him and like five bitches, and like oh yeah, cool. It's like so did you fucking those bitches like no they they were all lesbians, you know and they're not but you did fuck but that, you gotta say that and they're, they're not all they're like yeah I swear to God and then I'll send you a video of them making out or something and like yeah look and then that kind of lie, <laughs> or though she'll be like. I seen you with those five bitches. Like, yeah, but they were all scumbag bitches. That none of them wanted me. Oh, then I I do that a lot. Yeah, so then see, so you oh, are yeah. a liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that. My bad. I do it's, that a lot. This guy's acting dumb right now. Oh, like. you went to a strip club? Well, fucking George works there. I had to go drop off his lunch. 
No, nah, but it's like they know they got to pay for pussy. You got to drop him at lunch. What did he drop? I've done that before. I had to do a coke run. Literally, <laughs> George texted me one time and he's like, hey, my car ain't working. Can you drop off some lunch for me? What are you? Hey, you're becoming a chuckle fucker. First Ron White makes you drive him home. Now <laughs> fucking George, George fucking Perez makes you fucking take him lunch. Bro, what next? There's nothing better than taking George Perez lunch on his day. Uh, what did you make of? You were being a hoe making a sandwich? Well, hit me up and said, my car don't work. Come drop off lunch. And then she's like, can you get me some, 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 three, three, four tacos? And I went. And then he tried to pay me. And I said, nah, I'm cool. Can I just get a lap dance? From George? No, from the stripper, oh, no. fool. Oh, like, what from the, the stripper, dog. I paid for I paid for a couple, a couple Jack in the Boxes and shit. And then he was like, "Can I get?" He's like, "You want to try to get money?" I was like, you "Get one of these girls to give me a lap dance." <laughs> and he's got a lap dance instead of fucking. I'm worried if you're buying George Perez fucking Jack in the Box tacos, you're a fucked up ass friend. Like <laughs> I would have been like, "Bro, I'm not buying that." But you want some Wobble Grill, bro? What do you think these <laughs> fools eat? What do you think people at the strip club eat? Trash, dog. <laughs> What's that? You're reading them. Jack in the Box tacos at 8 p.m. is crazy. You can only eat those tacos after 2 a.m., no? I don't think they sell them before 2 a.m. Huh? Aren't those drunk tacos? No, they're everyday tacos. Oh, no. Hell no. Those shit are oily as fuck. Man, you're, not a, you're a whack friend. You're going to get some full heart attack, dog. I'm never telling you to bring me lunch. Anyway, speaking of bringing you didn't even bring me a fucking pizza from Chicago. <laughs> Did you eat pizza at least over there or no? No, bro. Oh, weak ass. Bro. What a waste of a shit. trip. I don't do that shit, dog. I don't go and travel America and try <laughs> what's out there. Bro, and then, okay, you come to I LA, you're going to eat tacos. I go out there and do stand-up, dog. I don't go out there, I'm in New York, I got to try the fucking the flatbread or the fucking you, you, New York-style you, you, pizza. You never ate New York pizza? I don't go to text me like, what's up with the barbecue? Nah. Bro, if you go, people that come to LA want to eat tacos. It's like you go to New York, get a gyro and a pizza slice. I didn't even get on the subway. I don't go look at the what? Twin Towers. Where's I don't go look he, at the Statue of Liberty. He's at New York like, where's Katana at? <laughs> where's Katana? Hey, y'all ain't got a Katana. Hey, yo, dead ass. Y'all ain't got a Katana out here? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know, dog. I don't, I don't, I did not try no deep dish Chicago pizza. That's what, I, bro, I would have went, it has to so like, it's like tacos here. You come down all day, like, I'm going to go for two nights. You're going to eat tacos. I would have got a deep dish. Quick. Like, oh, we landed? Oh, what, what time is the show? I'm going to deep dish. I got to try this shit. I'm not a foodie like that, dog. No? What do you eat besides Coke? I, I eat, bro. I live for, But I'm not like those people that like... Sushi. Su- Where's the sushi at? Sushi and steak? Simple. Easy, dog. Hey, I heard that Chicago has bomb steak, too. Does it? I don't know. I don't know what I heard. I heard that, that, <laughs> that bomb steak and pizza. I, I was the- supposed to be all scared and shit. And I was like, you're going to Chirac. It's fucking dangerous out there. Like, I'm going to LA. You're not going to Compton. Exactly. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? They're stupid. Fucking... Like, what the fuck? The world is kind of big. The city is kind of big. Like, when you come to LA, there's Compton. Some parts of Compton are nice. They have ranchos. Have you seen have you, I was, I was, I was going to ask you, because a, uh, a lot of rappers wear your merch. Have you had any of those drill rappers? Any of those crazy Chicago rappers that be, like, calling out their ops and, like, they kill someone and be like, bro, I shot them up at 7-Eleven and they start rapping about it. No, I never had a drill rapper. Those are crazy. Yeah, like, I like Chicago, the... I, haven't, I haven't met nobody from Chicago. Well, I have, but not, I, I, I've never sold that much there. New York, East Coast, yeah. A lot of the East Coast, Florida, Miami, anything anything on the East Coast I sold, but Chicago, nah, Barrett. Only like one four I would sell two over there, and I'm like, hey, when I go, I'm gonna kick it with you, take me to a pizza spot. But I drove rapper, nah. Bro, you guys fly out for food. You guys are fucking fat motherfuckers. What dog. do you mean, you idiot? We're not flying out like, for food. I fly, you guys I, sound like Lizzo. The first thing you land is, what's the what's the popular food here? I'm hungry. Four. Well, bro, I'm a, when I bro when I went to Miami, first thing I ate was pizza. I got there, I was waiting for the homie because he had he had a apartment there. Like, I'll be there in 30 minutes. And then, luckily, downstairs, there was a pizza spot that was called New York Pizza. I get there in Miami. It's a, it's a, bro, this was a crazy spot. Had pizza, and everybody's Cuban over there. So, it had a, a Cafe Cubano, and I was like, oh, fuck, I could drink, ex- I love coffee. I was like, I could drink espresso and pizza slice? Bro, that should taste like a New York slice. I eat there every day. Like, fuck that, I'm eating pizza every fucking day that I'm here. What? You, so, you don't eat, bro? I don't get it. Like, you're weird as fuck. You go... You no, should, I just don't. You I just, don't. You just eat drugs or what? No, I just hey, where's don't. The, where's the ketamine at? Where's the ecstasy at? 
It's me, XG, but... <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie. I, I do land... I do Look land in boy. different... I do land in different states. I do land my first question up. is, how good is the coke here? Oh, <laughs> you gotta show up and like, oh, where's the first fucking pizza joint? <sighs> right away, like... I smell the coke, man. You don't... But you're not scared to do people's coke over there? Like... Uh, I, I don't be doing random coke, but like, for real though, like, I don't know. I'm just not a foodie like that. And like, I... It's dude, not a foodie. Bro, I... I'm, I just... Steak, pizza, <laughs> chicken wings... <laughs> The most and coffee. I'm not over here like, oh, who got the best salad over here? Hey, who got this fucking things that I don't even know how to pronounce? But I'm fucking ghetto. Like, give me a fucking gyro. That's like a taco, you know? You ever had a gyro in New York? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've had a guy. Yeah. Say it. Uh, You're gonna say uh, (laughs) 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 fucking paisa ass fool. A gyro. A gyro. Again. I had a gyro. Those people say no sepo. Hey, you guys are some no sepo kids. This food no sepo for real. No sabe. This food no sabe nada. I got a guirro, a guirro, a guirro. I, I, I had a guillermo. I, can I get a guillermo with extra sauce? Oh, this is the worst spice I ever met, dog. You would have never made in those warehouse jobs I had. <laughs> well, you would have you been a manager real quick cause with your non-Spanish speaking attitude. <laughs> oh, shit. But I know I had never had those rappers like that. But well, just the LA fools that are been wearing my merch, they're pretty crazy. Like Peso, YG's worn my stuff. Glasses Malone, uh, J Rock. Talking about rappers, dog, and you're kind of in the rap scene, rap game. What do you think about this Kendrick, fucking Drake shit? Drake getting his house, his house shot up. Yeah, he got it shot up, huh? Kendrick calling that for a pedal, like they're 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 touching subjects that are not LOL. Like these are very like allegations where it's not a joke. It, it, but yeah, it's not a joke. Bro, it's shoot, it's shooting, it's saying he's got a second daughter, throwing family. I don't know, dog. You think this could escalate to some Tupac biggest shit, or you just think nah, it's nah. all? Well, fucking... they already shot up the house, so something must have happened. Something... But that was that a Kendrick shooting, or is that just a coincidence? They have never shot Drake's house, and Drake has had his house publicized for how long? Okay, okay, touche, touche. But okay, let's say Drake's house digger shot up. The security got shot. Oh, someone actually got shot. Shot. They shot the security. Okay, okay. So, do you think this was one of Kendrick's fans slash someone trying to get on game and trying to be good on Kendrick, or do you think Kendrick sent that out? Kendrick's not gonna send that out. I think Kendrick even wore scumbags back in the day too. Crazy, but. No. Why, 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 then, 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 okay, then, then if, he, if Kendrick didn't send why it would out... He, why would he send somebody to Canada? He'd rather just wait. Drake, when he comes, he always meets up with gang members. So and, what do you think? So you think it was just some random-ass fool trying to fucking show up for Kendrick? Yeah, I'm pretty sure some Canadian-ass fool thought he was from L.A. or something. You know, like a Canadian fool, like, I'm going to put it down for Kendrick. I never even met Kendrick. Kendrick had no idea who the fuck he is. And then, you remember when 50 Cent and the game were beefing it? But the game, they go to 50 Cent's house and they, they started shooting each other. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. that he went. Really you know that mansion that he has that Rick Ross owns now? Yeah. Um, uh, the game went there with his homies, and they were playing basketball on some court he had right there. Like, but in the outskirts, there was like an empty basketball court. They were playing basketball. Like, I'm fucking dunking your court. What's up, 50? And then they got really close to the house, and him and the, them and the security started shooting. So they shot at the game, the security. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure something must have happened like that. Like, some fools went, like... Because they, they never shot at Drake's house, dick, so... Are, are you are you uh are you rooting for Drake or are you you rooting for Kendrick? Man, when I was hearing the songs, Drake had the more catchier songs. I'm gonna be honest. Drake had like it's cause Kendrick is more like lyrical. I'm not. I don't really bum Kendrick like that because that's more like backpack rapper shit. Like I don't. I can't relate to Kendrick. I, I gotta be like intelligent, and I'm not that bright, bro. No, so no, I'm you don't like, have to be intelligent, fool. Kendrick makes music for fools that walk to work. Yeah, but no, but the lyrics are more like you gotta think about the lyrics. They're deep. Oh, I felt that one in my fucking heart. And then Drake makes the music like, I felt that one in this girl's booty. <laughs> like, man, what's up? Keep twerking that, girl. 100%. But I, yeah. I would rather, I mean, I don't, and I don't really give a fuck about the rap beat, but at the end of the day, whose concert are you going to? Drake's. Kendrick's or Drake's? Drake's. 100%. Drake is going to have way more bitches. Bitches on bitches. Uh, no, well, he had, you know the song he had, that, it could Drake got him good. I, thought, I think it was. I don't know the, the title of the, the song, but the one where he had the van, he, he got the van. Did you see that music video where he had the van? You know the Kendrick Lamar? Uh, yeah, uh, Matt Kendrick, Yeah, the van that he put on the album. Then uh, 
Drake had a, a video where the van being towed into a junk truck, a junkyard, and and smashing. Like, that's a good ass idea. That was a fuck, and he did it in one day. Like, that was hard. And the song was dope. It was, it was two different beats, and the lyrics were really, the act, the lyrics were really good. But then Kendra came back with the petty one and destroyed him. Like the A minor. It was like, oh no. A- that's all. That was. That's all fake though. I know, but still, insulting game. Yeah. Drake came back with an apology song after that. Like, I'm not a petty. That you lost. That's it. You lost. You had to go. You had to go back to the insult. You can't be a comedian getting roasted and you're getting roasted. Like, and like you're telling me, we're roasting each other. Like scumbags, you have a big nose. Like. Well, scientifically, I don't have a big nose. It's just fucking two inches above average normal size. Like, no, I was supposed to keep on insulting you. You, you. you you've been insulted by that, huh? You had to go do your research. You're like, what's the average? Oh no, what's the average nose size? <laughs> <laughs> well, you came in hot with those facts, dog. Average no. nose sizes. No, cause they were they were trying to roast me in high school about my nose. <laughs> I was good with the comebacks. Fuck that. They were coming like. Toucan Sam, Pinocchio, and I hated Toucan Sam. Like when I was like, yeah, that one two, hurts. Yeah, yeah, that one. I'm I don't not gonna lie, that, 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 I felt that one. I Pinocchio, like, yeah, fuck it. That's why like scumbags is scumbags. Yeah. Oh, Toucan Pino- Sam, Toucan, come in. and I would eat Fruit Loops back then too. So I was like, ah. I felt stupid always going to the market with my mom and buying the Fruit Loops. Like, is that me on the fucking box? <laughs> I should get these for free. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> sponsored <laughs> for life. <laughs> I hated that, but I I I know how to talk shit so so fast in high school. We're like in middle school too. Like they'll be like, shoot up two can. I, oh, I insult the fuck out of y'all. Just start the roast right away. Oh, you said it. You're fat. You have long highs, and just start going like, oh, your girlfriend's whack as fuck. That bitch is ugly. <laughs> Damn, you, I, you went in. On, you were that type of fool. Hell yeah. You hey, hey you cross the line. Let's go. So 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 nose comment is crossing the line. Yeah, don't make fun of my. Uh, you can make fun of fake jokes like. But once you start fucking with how I look, then, hey, all fair again. I'm going to start climbing how you look, no? And you're like, fuck you and your whack-ass baby mama. What's up? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like that. Damn. Careful, guys out there. Don't leave a rude comment. <laughs> These comebacks <laughs> might come at your mom. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you, dog. <laughs> I'll get you, bro. Bro, you fucked up. There's going to be so many nose comments. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, put, put some Toucan Sam in the chat right now. I want to see the chat go full with Toucan Sam. Oh, bro. They have a Toucan just, Sam emoji, right? You just unleash the super chats right now. <laughs> the people are like, why are there so many no- noses in the chat? Oh, it's for Coke. What's up, you scumbags? Check out one of our sponsors, Chili. She makes these cool drawings. Apparently, this is me. <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess it's Dragon Ball. It'll be Dragon Ball deep in your bitch. <laughs> but this is not me. But check out her artwork. She has real cool work. We have this picture that she's selling. This other one. And right here, guys. Whoever wanted to see the chick that I boned and got by the my bloody Valentine, this is her. She's into anime. She, I think she's Asian. She's fine though. Uh, you can catch these at chillymilly.shop for $60. Come support us. Come support our producer. Uh, like he said, that is scumbags. I don't care what he says. That's supposed to be him. Um, Buy a picture of me. Buy a picture of XG's Valentine date. She'll support the Chili Millie. Get it. All right, scumbags. We got another sponsor. We got Blue Moon Cannabis. They make pre-rolls. They sell apes. They got a bunch of stuff. Check them out. Here's some pre-rolls that they make. Actually, Fire, smoke. dog. Fire. Actually, smoking already. We don't smoke the same. But they got seven infused pre rolls. That's the one that XG is smoking on. Little baby one right here. They got single ones. They got the big boy. And they got Aves. Check it out. It's bomb ass weed. Smoke with them. Shout out to Blue Moon. Look for them at your local dispensaries here in LA. And if not, ask for them. Ask, ask for us. Blue Moon. Ask your dispensary, Blue Moon, where the fuck is that? Yeah, and DM us. If you need it to, DM us. You can DM us and get it. So, hit us up. Hey, you know how you always say that your dad was a perro? Like, your dad was divorced. Well, your dad divorced. No, he got divorced and he was just a perro or whatever after. Do you ever feel like... Come, I'm, I'm, my parents are divorced, too. How would you feel if your mom was like that? Like, your mom started dating somebody younger. How young? Wait a minute. Stop. Because my mom had a boyfriend. My mom's married, remarried, but... Oh, she got remarried? Well, my mom got remarried, too. But with somebody her age. Yeah, which is... Well, I'm okay with that, dog. So I, I respect that. My mom need love. You know, I'm not going to be a <laughs> hater and be like, What's up, dog? What's up, homie? 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna be squaring up with that fool dog, and he used to come. I, you know, when you the first time, I was like, "Who's this fool?" I'm yeah. out there to the how, how old were you when he came? Huh? How old were you? I was already old enough where I should have like. There was no fighting this fool. I was like, yeah, like 21, 22. Oh, okay, okay. But you still, you know, I'm outside the window looking like, who's picking up my mom? Shit, dog. Like who? But it was an older fool. It was a fool her age. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. what if, what happens if you're looking out the window and <laughs> it was one of your homies picking her Fucking up? Fucking scumbags? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm locking the door, dog. I'm out. <laughs> Entra se cabrona. Un chingados vas. Que limpiaste los platos. Coming out with the belt. Entra se ahorita. Right. Would you, would you be tripping if your mom started, okay, let's say your mom's 50, she starts dating a fool that's 50. What would you do if your mom started dating a fool that was 23? Younger or my age? I, there's no, I'm not letting my, not, I'm not, not letting my now, mom now, date now, a fool younger than me, uh, dog. Now, now, you're, her age now, like, you know what? Hey, uh, Xavier, uh, te quiero presentar a mi novio. And it's some young, it, it's an Edgar. Can't be younger than it's me. It's an Edgar. Can't be younger than me. I might let him be my age or older. Can't be younger than me. I got to square up with this fool. Dog, there's no way I'm letting some fool younger than me but, but put it down on my mom, dog. <laughs> like, like for real, dog. There's no way I'm letting this fucking morrito, a little squinkler right here, so you're, put uh, it down on my mom, dog. I got, I'm, I'm, if he can kick my ass at that point, <laughs> then I guess he can get it. <laughs> what, what happens if he pulls up? He pulls up in a in a, in a, a challenger in a in a, <laughs> in a Camaro. And he's like, hey, I'm gonna take your mom to the fucking what's it called? The takeovers. And your mom's are like, ah. Uh, Mijo, I'll be back. I Ahorita vengo. Ahorita I vengo. Ahorita vengo. Hay uh, uh, comida en el refrigerador. I forgot my laser. <laughs> you know how they always have lasers? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, but, oh, okay, bro. so if your dad brought a, 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 a younger chick that was 23, all good, right? 100%. And now, Where but, are her friends at for me? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Where are your friends at, baby girl? But if your mom make brought... Let's uh, make this a family attire. Your mom brought home a 23. If, I'll be tripping. I'm, I'm for sure not in that. We're going to scrap. We got to fight outside. What if that fool's wearing your merch, though? Representing. Shit. That fool <laughs> shows up with his scumbag to I'm pick fu- up your I'm mom. I'm fucking him up. <laughs> and I'm taking that shirt back and not getting him a refund. That's it. <laughs> Item sold. No refunds. I don't make a new shirt that said no refunds. But why is it that? Like, I wonder if the mom, because you, you never know. At the end of the day, your mom is a woman. And at the end of the day, she has a... She, she could do whatever she wants she, at the end of the day, if dog. If she wants to haul around. She can haul around, dog. So then, but I, Sad. That's sad to just even think about that. It but you think it's happened? Right well, now. it happened to, what's it called? The jo- Jordan my son? my heart right here. Look, like, it's my heart right here. Yeah, divorce your... <laughs> the, <laughs> divorce your... De mi ama. But you know how jo- Jordan's son... You know Jordan's son, no? You yeah, know yeah, what he yeah. did? Who's he dating? You don't know? Scotty Pippen's wife know or some shit like that? Yeah. So then, bro, that's that's crazy. Like, but that's okay, though, dog. Well, well we, okay. Let's Would say, you date? Okay, okay. Let's say you had a son. Would you let your son date an old-ass bitch? Would you be okay with that? You, you have a 21-year-old son, and your son shows up I with, like. I just slap the shit out of that dumbass. <laughs> what the fuck are you getting some old-ass pussy for, you fucking idiot? I didn't raise no dumbass kid. Better go get some young bitch, dog. What do you mean a bitch my age? You're fucking stupid. But what if he was like? But what if? But what if? What if? What if your son sh- goes up to? But dad, I've never got my dick sucked like her. Like she's she knows. Like because that's what it is. Fools that fall in love with older females is because they never got, got it done like that by anyone else, dog. Well, the, an older bitch knows what to do. She's probably cooking for the fool, all that shit. But it's like, bro, come on, you don't want. She's gonna want to marry you, and you're gonna throw your whole life away. Better like you're. And my son's 21. I'm like, bro, you take her serious when you're 41, please. Like, come on. You going to let your son marry an old bitch? Hell no, dog. I'm going to take I'm going to take him, I'm going to take her away from him, dog. So you're going to make her cheat on your son with you just for you could tell him I'm doing him hey, a favor, for dog. You to learn your lesson, don't mm-hmm. trust these old bitches. Yep. And she probably will be down too cuz yeah, you know these old she bitches. She likes the calf. She's going to want the bull. <laughs> it's fucking facts, dog. You don't want to like, taste the, where it came out from, yeah, bro? Yeah, si ese está bueno, imagínate de donde salió. Bro, come on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why <laughs> do you think? I always got, before I make a girl my girlfriend, I got to meet the mom. I got to know what I'm going to end up with. What, what if you have a sister, and then your sister and your mom, like, hey, we're going to go to the bar, and they come back with two young people. Like, okay, your sister, some for her age, and, well, he had a homie, so I got it from my mom. Bro, I'm kicking uh, both of them out of the house, dog. <laughs> and calling my dad, dog. You, and dad, I'm calling my dad. And your deals. <laughs> and my deals, dog. We're going to jump these fools, dog. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Like, 
That is shady. Cause there, there are some women that do that, huh? They'll, they'll go for a young guy at at their son's age. I don't know, man. I I'll, I'll feel like embarrassed. I don't know, embarrassed, mad. But okay, like okay, but like you said, there's nothing you could do about it. Let's say your there's mom. Some, hey, fuck you. There's something I could do about it. What? What are you gonna do about it? Stab that food too. <laughs> You could, now your mom's gonna now now you're in jail and your mom has no boyfriend <laughs> and no son. Fucking the worst, dog. Now your mom's gonna commit suicide thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you gonna do? But if she pulls up, what, what, no, what? no. But on the real though, on the real though, you let her fall in love with a younger fool. On the real, like we said, there's nothing you could do when your mom. There's nothing you could do at the end of the day. There is nothing. At that point, dog. I hope that fool knows how to roll up a joint or a blunt, dog. At that point, dog. Right before mom cooks for both of us, roll nah. up that blunt, dog. <laughs> what? He's going to go to the living room and like, oh, what are you watching, X? Oh, I'm just here watching Kill Tony. And then, what about you? Oh, I just finished fucking your mom. And, hey, you okay, want- that's not being said. That's on site. That's on site. <laughs> that's on site. Uh, pa- what's pa- up, homie? And he passes you the blunt. And then he's like, how do you like how your mom tastes? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, you just you don't, you don't have to go there, dog. What are you gonna do? Cause I know I went to, uh, to the fuck this side. It's on the side, bro. Fuck this little fool. Yeah, fuck bro. Fuck this my age. Hey, taste your mom, fool. Oh, bro. Dude, you're, break, you're breaking my heart again, dog. This is my heart again right here. This is my heart right here, in little little pieces. My heart, bro. Yeah. So if you're if you're a mom right now <laughs> at, at at age forty. <laughs> What should we say? Age 40, 35? Please don't date your homies. Fuck it. Like, shit. What was that movie? American Pie? Shit, shit. American Pie, yeah. What was that guy that fucked up with mom? I don't know. Do you Sh- know? Don't- Schindler? What? Something like that. Do you know? The, I, I don't remember a lot of movies about Amer- a, a lot of, like, highlights or, like, bits and pieces of American Pie. You know what I do remember about the whole movie? The pie fucking. No. No. <laughs> the obvious one? No. What? When that fool gets caught jerking off with the speakers in the house, and he, it's, it's like he. Wait, nuts in a minute. Remember where he, he, where he's watching porno and he nuts. Yeah, and then they, they come in. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. dad like trying to sit down with them, and he just nutted. Yeah, bro. That, was that happened to you for, for sure with your dad, like mijo. Otra vez con la elotera. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never. I'm, I'm, neither me or my dad have we ever sent each other a porno. Like, <laughs> oh, I hope Watch not. This. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> hey, Apa, you, you seen this one already? Mira que culon. Oh, si, sí, mijo, me la está ta- echando una puñeta yo también a eso. Like, hey, pues, you want a puñeta de eso? <laughs> no, do not. No, do not do that, guys. But anyway, let's play the blame game. Now, we're talking about uh, Jordan's son. Who do you blame in that situation? Okay, you're Jordan, right? Best basketball player to ever do it. You have Jordan's arm right now. And your, your, well, well, that was his partner in the game, right? It was him and Pippen. Everybody knows Jordan and Pippen, right? So whatever, at that time, like, damn, Pippen, you got a bomb-ass bitch. He has kids. He got married. Like, oh, you went to his wedding, all that. Then Pippen hits you up, like, damn, Jordan, we're getting divorced. And Jordan's like, you know what, dog, come here. I'm, I'm going to be your wingman. I'm going to help you out. She's probably going to move on. Who cares? But she moves on to your son. You as Jordan, who do you blame? Do you blame your son? Or do you blame the woman for being a hoe? Like, damn, you could have went anywhere in the world to find any kind of guy, but you went and, and got Jordan's son. That's shady. Or not. Well, I don't know if it's shady. It's, Jordan's son's pretty fucked up for that one, too, because you're fucking your dad's homie's wife. It's pretty crazy, no? The only problem with that is that he's dating her. Yeah, word. I'd be very that proud was, of my son if he just fucked her. It's like, oh, what's up, dad? I'm not. I don't care. But they're that, bo- they're both don't... bad. You, damn, you fuck my ex teammates. Why? Who cares? It's and your son. That just shows how much of a fucking player your son is, dog. He's a, he's a the real problem AP? is that he's dating her. That's the problem. If my son, if my son came up came up to me and he's like, "Yo, dad, I fucked your best friend's wife." I'm a little upset, but I'm still like, <laughs> well, it, <laughs> I was so upset. But it's going to your friendship, okay? It's like. I don't have to tell him. It, it's like I have a son, and then you have a wife, and my son fucks your wife. You're not going to want to talk to me no more. Fuck the both of y'all, no? 100% fuck both of y'all, but. <laughs> what the fuck? But that's the female's fault. This goes down to or, the female's fault. This bitch is a whore. Right? That bitch is a whore. Or is it, is it, is it Jordan's son? 
For he's bro, you could have got any pussy in the world. He's she's older. Idiot. She's older. He could have got any other pussy. To be honest, Jordan's son could have got whatever he wanted, and he went and attacked his dad's best teammate's wife. Was that who? That's shady of him. Like, bro, come on, perro. Out of a thousand bitches, you chose that one. Like, a thousand, you, a million, a million. There's way more than a thousand bitches, dog. You wanted Pippin's leftovers? Like, who do you? Who do you? I'm blaming. Damn, I don't even know how to blame in this situation because she's scandalous for. Damn. But what if he was in love with her when he was a little kid? You and get what, what I mean I, by that? You get what I mean by that? Okay, what if he let, was let's like? Get, let's make it sicker. What if she was in love with him when he was a little kid? Oh, ew. Nasty. Nasty. That dirty little bitch out there watching. When she's there marrying a pimp and watching the little homie play basketball. And like, oh, I can't wait till he grows up. Oh, yeah. So she was fucking. Grooming. I had the Drake song here. Uh, the Kendrick song. <laughs> Damn, so she was grooming then, huh? So see, who do you blame? Because was she on the groom? Was she waiting to groom this fool? Or was he like, of course, as a little kid, you want to fuck whoever's around. Like, fuck it. You know, it is what it is. But like, I'm, not gonna I'm lie, blaming dog. the woman. Like, I'm not going to lie, dog. I know my dad, I don't know if he'd be upset. But like, I'd marry J-Lo. Why would that be upset if Mary Jo? No she's has, been ran through. Everybody would be like, but dog, she's been ran through. But... but but, but, like but, 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 that, but as a little kid, I that's maybe that's what that that girl is to is to pimp and son is to Jordan's son. Maybe it was like siempre la quiso. You know what I mean? Siempre la quiso. Nah, she, that, that's a fantasy that. But the fantasy is over once you see her over at your house every day. Like you, sh, you sh, they must have been on trips together. Pippin and Jordan on trips together. He would go to the house bro, with the kid. Bro. Hey, look at my new bitch Jordan. And then she's over here thinking like, oh, I can't wait to get the little Jordan. Bro, my mom. My mom had this super fine fucking friend that would come over when I was little. She's not fine anymore, and I'd still hit it. <laughs> Just to, like, because I, I remember. I'm like, bro, like, not fine no more. But you think your mom will stop, stop being her friend? If, like, go eat to some hijo. I'd be mad if my mom stopped being her friend. <laughs> Stupid. Why are you mad that I hit it, mom? Why, she, you, why, why are you mad that I hit it, mom? She's hating? If she stops being her friend, she's hating, she's hating that I hit it. No, nah, but it's not like if they played basketball. It's not like if they were in the tortilla, making tortillas together. Jordan and Pippen were playing together forever, bro. Blood, sweat, and tears winning championships. And then your wife breaks up. Jordan has to be be the shoulder he cries on. Yet, yeah, it's the dick. And then Jordan's son is the dick she cried on? I'm blaming her. You we'll always blame her, dog. It's, it was still my aunt's fault. <laughs> It's this bitch's fault. It's her fault, bro. Every chick I cheated on, it was her fault. It's always her fault, yeah. dog. It's always her fault, homie. There we go. He's learning something. It's her fault he cheated. Yeah, it's her fault. Real men cheat. Remember yeah. that. Never forget, guys. It's her fault homegirl landed my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's in the room right now. She's like, oh, I could slide in his DMs. So, no, man, she might cheat on the food listening to the show. No, don't, don't, don't do that, girl. Come on now. Man, all, all those arguments had me just tripping out. That blame game got me fucked up because, damn, our, that was too much to think of. Blaming her, blaming him. You know what we need right now? Besides another beer? We need a moment of silence. I agree. Cause we, we need some booty shaking right now just to bring us back to normal because all that blame game got me fucked up. Let's take a little moment right now. We're going to put some booty on the screen. I want you guys to stay quiet. Your bitch better not be making that sandwich out loud right now, dog. So please, close take the door. Quietly. Don't <laughs> stack the ham in fucking lettuce loud, bitch. She's all slapping that shit off pissed. He's hey. watching. He's coming kicking. <laughs> oh, fuck this sandwich. Oh, fucking here sandwich all fucking. <laughs> flatbread? Yeah, flatbread, bitch. I don't ask for no flatbread. I want a deep dish. <laughs> oh, she's probably, oh, here comes his favorite part. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's his favorite part. We'll put some booty on the fucking screen. Let's take a moment of silence right now for some booty. Let's go. Man, that bitch ain't done with that sandwich right now. You better scream at her right now because we're done with the booty. The bless, bless the booty. It's yeah. gonna make a blessed booty. I don't know what to call it. And I want the, and I want that shit toasted and cut the edges, bitch. I don't like the edges. Damn. I don't like the fucking edges, bro. No the edges. Fucking, no crust, baby. No crust over here, bro. And make two of them because one of them really don't fill me up. Man, you know what it sounds like? 
<laughs> it sounds like you want to get something off your chest, player. <laughs> Let, let's get to that segment, man. You got something to get off your chest, player? Because he sounded uh, aggressive right now. Man, no bro. crust? Huh? No, no crust, dog. Get off my chest, man. <laughs> Well, on the real though, like it, it, this ain't had nothing to do with females, but something I do want to get off my chest is I am a guy that gets in Ubers and usually I like, like I chit chat in an Uber. Yeah. You know, just fucking small talk. How's the weather type of bullshit. And I don't mind Uber it. For? And I don't mind it usually because usually I sit there and I'm like, what's up? Do you listen to podcasts? And if they say, yeah, just come and kick it. Download, subscribe, motherfucker. I'm always fucking working, dog. So I'm in this Uber, bro. And you know what I can't stand about Ubers though? What? When they start talking about financial stuff and investing and like how their like career is good, I'm like, bro, you drive an Uber. I'm not listening to any <laughs> motherfucking advice you give me, dog. I'm not investing in any crypto. You tell me, I'm not investing in no stock. And like, I'm I'm sure there's some rich ass Ubers drivers, but it just does not help when we're in an Uber and you're telling me how to financially invest at all, dog. So only because they drive, you think they have no drive? Yeah, which is fucked up because they probably do have a drive. It's just it just doesn't work out for me when I'm sitting there and I'm supposed to listen to your stock advice while we're in an Uber. Not even Uber Black or Uber X, dog. <laughs> for Uber Black, Uber X, oh dude, this fool's driving a fucking Lamborghini. No, we're in a fucking we're in a fucking <laughs> Prius, dog. I do not want to listen to your advice on how to move up in life. You haven't moved up in life. Damn. So You're in a fucking Uber, dog. I'm going to tip you well. I'm not a hater, but it's just like they start telling you like they think they're gurus. I literally think I'm listening to fucking YouTube channels. I'm like, You're like, hey, bro, it says Uber there, not therapist. Yes, bro. Like, oh, and I know I sound like a hater. I love Uber drivers. Like I said, I love it. I love talking. I don't then mind. Why do you, why do you talk. talk to them then? What? what? Cause I, cause I'm trying to get a subscriber. I'm trying to get a you a, a, a fucking like. I'm trying to fucking make this podcast better, dog. All they but, do is drive. The least they can do is listen to Scum and Kick It, dog. They, they should listen to all the Ubers. Yeah. And it is why I talk to them, but I just can't stand when it goes into financial advice, stock advice, investing advice. I'm like, bro, like, you're not a person that I would listen to what if about you, that. What are you going to say about bitches? That's like me listening to you about getting pussy while you're being celibate. It's not going to work out, bro. That's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> only because only I'm retired. Okay, when Mayweather retired, he shouldn't get no more boxing advice? Yeah, yeah, a little, no, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, not... no, he retired. He has two weeks out. He, has, he knows nothing about boxing. I know nothing about bitches no more. What the <laughs> fuck? You lose your touch. You lose your touch, dog. If you're not in the game, you lose Man. your touch, dog. I, I, you're losing your touch, dog, Mr. Sullivan over here. I'm positive because I have too much touch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so then they, you're mad at Uber drivers. When they try to give you motivational speeches, yeah. like motivational financial advice, like can we just talk, doc? Can we talk about the weather? Can we talk about Kendrick? And like, can we have a norm? Like these fools are literally YouTube gurus. They literally think they're on a cha- on a YouTube channel. Yeah, you, you know, know what I hate most when I jump in the Uber? Hmm. Number, I, I just in the car. One, I don't like talking to Uber drivers that much. Sometimes I do. Like maybe I drive, I take Uber every day, so. 90% of the time, I don't want to talk to nobody. Like, no, I don't want to talk to you. And then when I jump in the car, so like, like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. What's up with you, man? And they're like, I'm good. So what do you think about this election? Oh, game over. <laughs> Put on the music, dog. I don't want to hear you no more. They start talking about Trump, Biden, all this shit. Like, oh, I don't want to hear. Bro, I don't even vote, dog. I don't want to hear none of this shit. Like, You've never voted? In my life. <laughs> oh, you must be mad as fuck right now. So okay. upset, dog. The fucking, uh... You, for you what? a citizen, what? it's a right of yours, dog. It's what a am right. I gonna vote for they already picked the candidates. They they know who's gonna win. Just because it's your right. You think people voted for Biden? Yeah. But they, technically, if you believe that shit, I think so. I mean, that's what they well, say. But I know they regret it now because that, that was sleepy Joe. But other than that, if I jump in the Uber and start telling me about politics, hey, bro, cut it. I, I, I'm calling another Uber made Uber. Like, hey, you're gonna drop me off at an Uber car because you're just fucking talking some nonsense right now, dog. That's the worst. On top of you telling me financial advice, I can't stand when I get an Uber and these fuckers are still wearing a mask. <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> out nah, of cool, here, dog. No, so, it's nice. Somebody me, might it's, be sick. It's, they're seeing, 
They're seeing fifteen. If you're minutes. sick, then don't give Uber rides. Like I don't understand. What no, people... the 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 passenger might be sick. I, you're driving fifteen people around. I understand the math. Like fuck it. it. Don't. I, it does not help, dog. Well, yeah, There's the n- no dog. No dog. Only no. The, well, the math when the math looks all old, I hate that. I, bro, that math looks like you're gonna catch something by wearing it. Like, like the other day, I'm at the grocery store, and the cashier bitch has a mask on her. If I was the owner of that store, I'd tell her she's got to go home because she's making all everybody think she's sick. No, I just look. I went. To, I went to yard house yesterday, and the, one of the wa- one only one waiter had a mask. And I'm like, well, maybe she's sick, or doesn't want to get, or doesn't want to get sick from people. She's sick. She shouldn't be at work. That's what I'm trying to say. You maybe she can't af- work. Maybe she can't afford a sick day. Don't come to work. Damn, don't make no money that day. You're sick. Yes. Do you remember when you used to stay home for two weeks when you had COVID? Yes. People, yes. It's crazy how the world matters, but they won't stay home. That's true. Stay home, bitch. Well, they can't afford to stay home, so. Dude, I like, you know. Why I hardly see, when I get in an Uber now, damn, I'll, I'll see a mask here and there, but rarely. Now when I see a, a chick wearing a mask, I just think, oh, she's ugly. <laughs> so she's going to wear the mask. The, uh, the eyes are always beautiful, but once you can see this. The game over, like, oh, that bitch wearing a mask and she's ugly. I agree to that, too. But, like, I heard a lot of females just wear the mask because they don't want to do their makeup. At least not no more. Back oh, yeah. when, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, just yeah. Like, oh, I'd be lazy-ass bitch. It's a new filter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lazy-ass bitch to fuck all of them wear a mask. It's, just, uh, it's, a, filter. it's a filter now, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's true. When they, when they have the mask, I'm like, damn, she looks cute. And then she takes the mask off. I'm like, no, my man. They should put the mask back on, dog. That shit looks nasty. All right, guys. Stoses and mimosas. It's fucking brunch, dog. You do brunch? Are you a brunch fool? You ever go to these females and get, and, and do a brunch? A doses unlimited no, doses and mimosas? Fuck, I don't have a vagina. What, bro? Brunches are brunches are good, bro. And That's like, how you can tell you have a girlfriend, bro. No, dude. Brunches are dude. You're tripping, dog. So you, you and your you homies go- are like, hey, 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 homie. Let's go do brunch. Gay. Yeah. Why is that gay? You you and your homies go to brunch and there's females right across. Like you said, it's a female thing. You literally there's after parties. And then the girls in the other table when they look at those fucking gay dudes right there <laughs> eating brunch. They, wo- they woke up and planned it at eight a.m. Fool, get a michelada and get some mariscos. And that's what not, that is brunch? That literally, brunch. how is that not brunch? That mariscos and brunch. beer. Do, do you know what the definition of brunch? Brunch means between lunch and breakfast. It's in the word. It means no, brunch. No. It, has, it doesn't mean gay. It doesn't mean. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm. D- d- brunch means between br- lunch and okay. breakfast. It's and, in the word, okay, dog. Like the ma- how is that, d- Mister? Oh, I'll, I'll go to New York and get a fucking a pizza. Wait, but yet I want to well, eat well, now. Uh, and go to brunch and two dollar slice. All right. Okay. In a menu, when you see ceviche, is it under breakfast? Is it under lunch? Is it under dinner? No, it's on the menu. It's not. It's on the menu somewhere. But that's not part of brunch. That's just you being a man and having a that's beer. That's crazy. You and, your homie, you and your homies can't be hung over on a Sunday and go get lunch and go get lunch because right. you're oh, gay. Hey fool, you want to go get some orange juice with a champagne, some pancakes? Gay. <laughs> hey fool, you want to get a michelada and some ceviche? Because I'm fucking hung over, perro. Not gay. <laughs> When did I say you? When did I say you had to get fucking uh, chocolate covered pancakes? Who <laughs> said you had to get chocolate covered fag pancakes, dog? All I said was brunch. Covered fag pancakes. <laughs> They're gonna put a whole fool on the pancake. That's how you're making it seem. You're making it seem so gay that gay guys come out with the pancakes and shit. People twerking, bro. It's just brunch, dog. It's just fucking maybe hardball huevo rancheros, maybe some uh, I feel like I'm gonna go to chilaquiles. Brunch. Are chilaquiles gay, dog? Because that's usually why I eat at my brunches, chilaquiles. You're going to go to the brunch spot. There's going to be some food laying down with just underwear. And they're going to have they're gonna have pancake bits on them and, <laughs> and syrup all over them. Like, <laughs> all I know is I've never invited you to brunch, dog. I hope. And if there's bitches, but if it's Yes, you, there's, uh, yeah, that's the no, point, bro. Well, what I say it's for bitches, but if it's just you, it actually hits me up like, hey, scum, it's 8 in the morning. What you doing? Well... Me and my three compadres are going to go eat some brunch. No, there's always Man, bitches involved. involved. There's always bitches involved. That's the point. No, nah, I want to say you have to have a girlfriend. Like, the, my homegirls know not to come here for brunch. Brunch is a girl thing where they go and, and she's bonsiat early in the morning like fucking little chicken. 
Wop, 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 wop. Just talking about shit that doesn't matter to us. Man, I don't want to hear that shit that early. Do you trying to hear about this bitch's fucked up ass relationship at nine in the fucking morning over some orange juice with some fucking twelve dollar champagne? Wrong, Fuck no. Wrong, Give me some moed that's fifty bucks, wrong. and and I'm gonna chuck it out the bottle. Where's the ceviche at, fool? Let's go. Oh, Bro, like, like, okay, if I wouldn't have gone out to Chicago, the day after your birthday, I would have hit you. I'm like, bro, I'm hungover. Let's go get lunch. I've been like, gay ass vato. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's gay to have brunch. Hit that like button, subscribe. Don't go to brunch with your homies, I guess. <laughs> after this episode ends, don't hit up your homies unless it's for ceviche and a tall can of michelada. If you're going to go ask him for, hey, do you want to get some chocolate strawberry? No one said pancakes? that. No one. Said, all I said was like brunch with the homies. And, and instantly it was gay. Hey, bro. You're in West Hollywood. <laughs> gay. Have you, had, have you ever had these muffin tops for my hair, Paul? With some coffee? You want to go? Oh, Man, like, subscribe. Hater ass and, and don't listen to XG's advice. You don't like Danishes? Huh? You don't like a Danish? You don't like a chocolate croissant? Yeah, but myself. The fuck? I'm gonna go to fucking Starbucks. Well, before we end it, we got we gotta say, watch the live later on tonight, dog. I'm gonna be. This is not a brunch day, guys. This is not brunch, okay? We're gonna watch the fight at a late night. Hope you guys bring a talk can, a beer to take some shots. I don't know what you're gonna bring to the table, but let's get fucked up tonight. Watch the fight, and maybe tomorrow morning when I'm hungover, I'm gonna call XG and tell him, hey, do you wanna go get pancakes and some fucking orange juice with some twelve dollar champagne in it? Over easy eggs, please. Over easy? Over easy, dog. No, no easy. juice? I like the yolk. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it. That's yeah. a must. Hell yeah. yeah. Scrambled easy, eggs dog. is if, if you're at McDonald's. If you're, if, you're dating, if you're dating a single mom is the only time you should get scrambled <laughs> eggs, dog, because she's making fucking food for Junior, and she just adds a couple extra eggs for you, dog. Hey, I'm going to tell XG, hey, fool, let's go get brunch tomorrow. I know they're going to be mad bitches. Hey, let's go. I'm going to take this for the McDonald's. <laughs> and we're going to eat outside. Me Hit, with, with a 40 and a biscuit. Right. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And like he said... This is in the morning because we got a live, live boxing event. Whisk come and kick it. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Also, go check out XG Marks the Spot for all the EDC extra package. Thank you. It hurt?